loves, I'm Elle Leary, makeup artist and licensed esthetician from Merle Norman. Today we're doing day to night with our Starry Rose shadow palette and a few other goodies. Now you get a sneak peek, this is the evening look, but I want to show you how to go from a day version of this to get this. And you're going to think it's really hard, but it's not. It just takes a few extra steps and you got day to night. All right, so let's get started. Now, when we're talking about going from day to night, you want your day look to be somewhat more simple, and that way we can just add a few things on top of it to make it really pop for nighttime. So using our Starry Rose eyeshadow palette, we're going to start with this color here called Fuzzy. And as I always say, I like to start with a generous amount on a number two eyes brush on the eye first so that it makes it seamless and easy to blend. Don't forget to apply it in the corner of the eye to take away discoloration and really make those eyes pop. Now we're gonna go into Swoon right here on a number three eyes brush. And we're gonna go ahead and draw out that crease. And wipe off my brush and go back into blending. Remember, if you're doing this, look down into a mirror. Don't look straight ahead yet. We wanna look down into a mirror so we can really find that crease. Especially if your eyes are a little more hooded, this part is a little heavier. You wanna look down into that mirror and go ever so slightly up a little bit higher onto that brow bone. And then to make sure you've covered all the bases with the placement is you can look straight back into a mirror and make sure don't raise your eyebrows, because when we raise our eyebrows, it makes our eyes a lot wider, and then when we relax, the eyeshadow isn't in the right place. So try to keep your eyes as neutral as possible. This is such a beautiful color. This is a really beautiful, universal shade that's going to make all eye color pop. And I'm just taking the tip of the brush and just making sure that the outside corner of the eye is covered with a little bit of color. These colors are very layerable, so you can choose the depth of pigment that you want. I'm just literally tapping my tip of my brush into the color and adding definition and depth where I want it. So I want most of the depth in the crease, and then I want it to fade as it goes up on the brow bone. Don't be afraid to wipe off your brush, go in with nothing on it, and start to blend. And there we have that first step. We're going to next go into Eclipse, which is a semi-match. What really means is that it has just a little bit of shift to it, so it's not shimmery, it's not matte, it's somewhere right in the middle. And I'm going to use it on number two eyes brush. And we're just going to tap it on the outside crease, just add a little bit of, or outside corner, just add a little bit of depth. And I'm just patting using the side of the brush. Pat, pat, pat. Number three eyes brush to blend. It has nothing on it and you're using the tip of the brush. Again, using the side of the brush. And there you have it. So you can, of course, use eyeliner for this day look, but honestly, popping on a little bit of mascara and moving on to the cheeks is all you really need. I am, however, gonna use a number one eyebrows brush on that same color we just used, and we're just ever so slightly Tapping and gonna add a little bit of color underneath the eye. No drop shadow, just a little bit of definition. Okay, just pop my brows on and mascara only on the top. Reason being, for me personally, daytime, I just like to keep it really easy and simple. Mascara on the top, we're about the bottom for nighttime. We're gonna go in with Lasting Cheek Color in Sugar Melon. Look how cute this brush is, I love it, two-sided. Pop this on the cheek, right over the nose a little bit. And what that does is it just makes the look on the cheeks more complete because that's normally where we just get a little bit of color, especially if we're out in the sun. Oh, this brush is so soft. And this cheek color is so beautiful and fun. It has just a little bit of shift of color. It is not super matte. It has just a little bit of shift to it. Look at that natural radiance it gives. Then we're gonna pop on a little bit of plush lip gloss in Bubbly. It's that perfect just day gloss that everyone needs. And we are ready for the day. 
now it's time to head out for the evening. So let's add a few extra little tidbits to really amp this look up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit to the eyes first. I am gonna come back in with Eclipsed here and a number two eyes brush and I'm just gonna amp up this outside corner a little bit. Same tips as before, we're just gonna blend that right in. A Little more drama, isn't that awesome? We're gonna take our brows brush into that same color again. We're just gonna add a little bit intensity just on the outside of the eye. Don't worry, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to add an optical illusion that the eye is more of an almond shape. Everyone can do this, no matter your eye shape. We're gonna reinforce that on the bottom of the eye, giving this under eye a little more depth and we're gonna pull that color in a little bit further. I'm gonna take a number four eyes brush and I'm just gonna gently smoke that out a little bit more. See how that gave a little more depth, definition and drama? Where are my green eye girls at? This is gonna be really an amazing color for you. On a number two eyes brush, we're gonna take Heavenly Rose, which is this beautiful color right here, a little more shimmery. And we're gonna use patting motions again, and we're just gonna pop this right here. And that evening candlelight, it's gonna catch on that eye and add something really special. I'm gonna wipe off my brush, and then I'm gonna gently blend this into the corner. We don't want too much there. We want most of the pigment right here on the eye, but we don't want this to look like a harsh line. That color definitely has to be one of my favorites of the palette. So I'm just adding a little bit of that same blush onto the apples of my cheeks, just to refresh that cheek a little bit. Then we're gonna take the Ultra Glow Highlighting Powder in Starlight on this tip of the brush here. This way that this brush is shaped is perfect for application. You just wanna ever so slightly tap into the palette and go right on top of that blush. Look how pretty that is. Okay, just a touch whatever's left on the brush down the nose, a little on the chin. Now I wanna amp the lip up a little bit. Flush Lip Liner in Ballerina Pink. And I'm gonna fill the whole lip in with this liner. Give a couple pushes of the lip together like that. Now we're going in with plush lip liner in glowing. Mmm, that looks so awesome. I love this color. These colors together are a perfect match. Add a necklace, some hoop earrings, and maybe some heels, and you are ready for the evening. So this is how the final look works. It's going to make you feel very confident, and look how easy that was to change from day to night. It only took a couple extra minutes, and you're on your way. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.